what kind of runs through your mind? Um, I mean, no, it's just exciting to see everyone. Um, spring training, that's one of my favorite parts of spring. It's just, you know, we, we spend such a long season together that, you know, spring training a season, 200 or something plus days. That it's like that off season is like kind of time to get away from your teammates. But once spring training starts coming around, it's you're excited to see everyone, excited to talk with people and get back to work together. And uh, so that's, that's one of my favorite parts. It's just like getting there and like all the new faces come back in and um, get to see old teammates, stuff like that. So it's but a lot of fun. You're getting together as a world champions. Yeah, true, true. Yeah. Let's get a little bit different ring to it. I mean, I mean yeah. Uh, but I mean, uh, for me personally, uh, like, it was amazing what we did, but you know, it's now it's the next season, so you know everything's wiped clean. Hunt the title again. How are you feeling physically going into this year? Uh, I feel great. Um, I had a really good off season. Worked on a lot of stuff just um, over at Tread in Charlotte. Uh, just trying to, you know, kind of the same old story of trying to use my legs better. Uh, I feel like we've kind of finally figured some stuff out, so hopefully it, it works. And uh, last year was by far the best when it comes to how my body was kind of moving down the mound, able to hold my backside a lot longer um, and hopefully be able to do it a little bit more, be a little bit more explosive this year. But uh, the body feels great. Um, I had a pretty regiment routine going out through the off season and um, I mean, just kind of worked out in the mornings and then played dad for the rest of the day. <laughs> Can you tell us any more about the new pitch? Um, not yet, not yet. Uh, you guys will see, you guys will see in game. Um, Still, still tinkering with it, um, but you know, I'm excited. Knuckleball, I still think it's. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the world champ thing. There's like signs uh, up, and mm -hmm. I mean, that, that that sent a chill through you. Is it? Um, I mean, I mean, yes, but I, I haven't really paid much attention to that once I got in here. Um, like I said, my whole goal is this next season, so it's just. Um, like I said, it's amazing what we did last year, but that was last year, and we got to come back this next year and, you know, step on the gas. So is there, in your mind, is the time for celebration over? Um, I mean, I think a little bit, yes, but we're still going to have that celebration when we finally get those rings. I think that's probably the next time I'll allow myself to celebrate a bit, but... But yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, kind of after we won, we had that, that little, that couple days, um, you know, it could have been weeks for some people. I gave myself a couple <laughs> days, and, um, but I mean, I took a couple weeks off and, and then got right back to it. So, um, I mean, my whole focus is this season and, and you know, hopefully we're running back winning again and then it'll be the same story next season. Is that a Dane spoke about um, trying to turn the page and, and going forward. How do you, how do you view? It? Oh, there, there he is. <laughs> Just restart. You know, we 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 have the recipe. We know what works, and you know, don't change. But you know, you can't live in the past, and you just try to work to do it again. You know, it's. It's hard to not think about what we just did, but uh, you know, like I said, we have the recipe. Just be the same people, and you know, go out and win. Dane said he only told two people that he won a world championship last year. One was so he could get a golf membership. Uh, <laughs> how was your off season when and talking to people about what you did? It was good. I mean, I tend to be more of a hermit. I like to hide, um, so yeah, I got to enjoy my family time, travel, you know, do the things that you know my, my my family wants to do, get some family time, you know. So I keep it pretty simple. You too, Bruce Bochy, as manager. Uh, what are you expecting? Excuse me, sorry. Year two with Bruce. Oh. I mean, last year, you know, kind of feeling him out, but now you guys all I mean, know what's expected. I mean, year one was pretty good, so, uh, you know, just trust what he does. I guess it's pretty simple with him. I mean, he seems to know what he's doing really well at a high level, and so, you know, whatever his call is, we'll follow. It was 106 days ago that you guys won it. Does it did it fly by, or? Absolutely. I mean... You know, you get out, I don't know when our last game was, the exact date, but November, like, November 1st. November 1st. You know, it felt like Thanksgiving was four days later, <laughs> um, and then Christmas. So, it kind of, it really flew by, because normally the first month, you know, there's no holidays or anything. So, you kind of just, kind of just sped by, you know, so it was fast. Guys have different uh, timelines. Are you one of those that's, like, ready to go now, or do you need to? Yeah, I like to throw a lot. Um, I took two weeks off and just try to pick up. Um, I tend to be, I like to be overprepared, I guess, for my arm. I just don't want to get hurt. Um, I tend to have that So naturally, there's not much so. 
stretching out for you. You're, I you're felt, yeah, I felt pretty good. I didn't want to take too much time off. The longer you take off, the longer it takes to build up. So I figured just take two. If I feel fine, just keep going. You know, so take it slow, but you know, stay strong. Why do you keep the number 66? <laughs> uh, so I was 76 in LA, then I got here. They gave me 66, so I figured that as long as my career can play all the way out before I get to number six, I'm doing pretty good. So every, every new team is going to go down by 10. <laughs> so hopefully we stay 66 for a while. <laughs> Josh, how, how long did you like hang on to the World Series high, do you think? Uh, I mean, I feel like once I started working out, probably two or three weeks later, you know, you kind of – you enjoy it, but you kind of got to move on because, you know, it's for us, our career doesn't stop. You know, you got to keep going. You got to keep performing. So, you know, that was the kind of thing I had in the back of my mind just to, you know, pick up where we left off last year and just try to use it to our advantage, you know, give you extra confidence. Um, but, I mean, I, I guess I'd be lying to say I still don't think about it. Right. Um, but, you know, I, I tried to move on mentally just to, you know, restart this year because, you know, we got to try to do it again. This is a get your bus to work right yeah yeah exactly um yeah it's time to look forward now and uh you know well there'll still be times to enjoy last year but uh but we're, we're definitely focused on this one Dane spoke about that moving forward and turning the page but when you see all the when you see the the world championship uh logos and, and you're going to see stuff all year long how do you how do you keep that focus um, see, I did, when I see those things, it's just it's just a confidence booster to me. I don't really get too caught up in last year, but uh, but more of like the good feels that last year brought and and some of those times of high intensity and us prevailing. I mean, those those are the things that are going to come to mind to me when I see that. So you're feeling good. All all's good. Yeah, really good. Stayed away from freak accidents. Didn't do anything <laughs> crazy. Um, yeah, I feel really healthy. Ready to go. The injuries that are in the rotation early on is I mean, everybody says health's the key to, to repeating or contending mm -hmm. how to, how to. I agree with that yeah yeah I agree with that I think I think it's going to be the biggest thing for us to stay healthy because we got guys that can play so I mean if we're out there we're, we're looking good what's the message to new guys coming to this club here this year that you want them to know um I think there's certain guys to watch on our team. I mean, there's guys that go about their work really well, and just to keep an eye on them and how, how well they handle their business. Um, that's something I even like to do as an eight-year guy. So um, there's guys I definitely look up to in, in the way they go about their business, and I think it rubs off on me and makes me better. And, uh, yeah, it's an iron sharpening iron. It's good. How, uh, how can things be, I don't know if I say different, but under Bruce year two? I mean, first year, everyone's kind of learning each other. Now you know what to expect. Yeah, yeah, and, and that, that's going to be a little bit more of a comfortable feeling. And which is good, which is good. We kind of know what to expect going in. But, um, and also for the young guys, I mean, like, we saw how much, uh, you know, guys that didn't really have much experience uh, help us so much last year in the late, late, late in the season. So, I mean, that's, that's a motivator. I mean, it, you know, it doesn't matter if you don't have much time at all, you could be a huge impact this year. And so I think guys coming up ready to go and going to show what they have is, is going to be really important. When you land here in Phoenix, you can see Chase Field as you're going to the baggage claim at all. Did, did you look at it? Did it bring back a memory when you hit back? Like, hey, you know, we, we did something. Absolutely. Yeah, I saw it out the window on the way in, and, you know, it just uh, definitely brought back some memories, and they were all good, all good.